<laughs> specialized training for the hurricane? Nah, there's no specialized training for that. Supplies had been cut back. So they weren't as prepared as they had should have been. They should have been. So like when they started running out of food after like the second or third day, inmates thought we just weren't feeding them. But I didn't actually eat for like three straight days. And it's not that we weren't trying to feed them. We just didn't have anything. The third night I was on the third floor, an inmate got sick and they had locked us on the floors to make sure everything was secure. So we couldn't get off the floors at all, but I got an inmate who's sick and um, he has asthma. And I'm like, well, try to lay down, stay calm. I know it's hot, whatever. But then he started getting a little worse. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna try to get more help because you couldn't call downstairs because the phone lines were dead. We didn't have radios to call down. So I'm beating on the back door and the back, the doors are still, they have to be like maybe four inches thick but there's a glass pane on them. So they have to hear me down through a door, another door, another steel door. So I'm beating on the door and beating on the door and nobody heard me. So I found a broomstick and I broke the back window out. Now the, wind, the, the glass in the window is about maybe an inch and a half thick and has wires in it. So I broke the glass out and started hollering and somebody heard me. I got an inmate who up here sick and I'm like, he looking bad. So um. The doctor came up there and um, they gave him a shot and something. Luckily, they were able, he was uh, he was all right after that. But um, that was another scary situation. And right then and there, started let making me think even more so. They're truly not prepared for this. <laughs>